Afghanistan's electricity can be switched off at any time by the neighboring countries because of its reliability on the imported energy, a long-stand problem which has been affecting daily life all through the country, especially in capital Kabul. The businesses and factories complain about the shortage and the total outage had made them suffer a lot. Most of them are shut or they have no production. There's no electricity right now. Our workers are off and we have paused our industrial activities. We hope the electricity problem can be solved. The electricity shortage is damaging our production. The industrial sector is paralyzed and cannot make its products. Small businesses were also affected by the electricity outage. Some of the owners say they spend all their sales revenue on fuel to make their businesses run. There has been a massive electricity shortage and our fuel expenses have risen 90%. Unfortunately, we have no electricity even in our capital, Kabul. We can't even recharge our cell phones because of the shortage. When the Taliban took control of Afghanistan in mid-August 2021, neighboring countries had already not been paid their electricity bills. The Taliban-led administration said they have not only paid the bills since they have been in power, but even the debts, which remained unpaid since the fallen republic. But the power supply was not resumed for unknown reasons. Afghanistan pays between 20 million to 25 million US dollars a month to Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan and Iran for its electricity supply. The country has not been capable of producing its own energy and most of its power infrastructures has remained uninstalled or unable to cover its needs. The Central Asia South Asia Electricity Transmission and Trade Project, Gaza 1000, and other projects were sought to be the fundamental projects to fulfill long term energy needs of Afghanistan. But that will take time, as requiring comparative security and political stability in the country.